Welcome to KYS Nightly. I'm your host, Herbert W. Johnson. Now let's get to it. Funeral arrangements were held today for former Five Heartbeats lead singer Eddie K. Jr. Flash, JT, Dresser, and Choir Boy put on the service that you just gotta see. Check it out. Donald Duck Matthews was not in attendance, but released the following statement. So today, unfortunately, I couldn't make it to see my good friend Eddie Kane buried. I know it's a sad day for the Kane family, but it's a sad day for me also. I was supposed to lead the dance today at the funeral, but I was replaced by my brother. Who's been the same selfish motherfucker since we were kids. Police in New York need your help in capturing a man who's been on the run since 1979. Now the following footage was captured by an onlooker from a deluxe apartment on the east side. Take a look. The suspect is described as a rabbit with horn rimmed glasses and a mustache. Last seen at a bar in New York. If you have any leads, please contact Detective Harry Bentley at Scotland Yard. We'll be back. This man is about to be our millionth customer, but instead we had someone go in front of him and win $50,000. Hey bro, you mind if I pay for this coffee real quick? It only take a sec. Yeah, that's cool, man. I want a little bit more time to talk to this lovely young lady anyway. Um, that's a refill. One dollar. You are a million customer. You win fifty thousand dollars. Hey! Man, y'all got a real nigga fucked up. Dude, I, I fucking beg them, man. Don't prank the black guy. Let's, let's just not do it. <clears throat> In Florida, a man was rescued after floating 18 hours in the Gulf of Mexico. He was first reported missing by his wife after he didn't come home the previous evening. Reached for comment, his wife said it's a miracle and she thinks the Lord for bringing her husband home. Ironically, in other news, Jerome Jackson was found off the coast of Daytona. After being at sea for 18 hours and suffering shark bites, our camera crew caught up with Jerome and his wife after being reunited at a nearby hospital. Let's take a look. This nigga, I was putting some fuck shit around the time rent do. Shark bite my ass, shit. Nigga probably at some bitch house. Jerome, I know you hear me. If they find any alcohol in your system, I'm done fucking with you. Straight up. And bitch ain't got time for this shit. <clears throat> now it's time for the Why Clip of the Week. Check it out. Wow. Let me end with a few words of advice and encouragement. <clears throat> I've seen these new body wraps out on the internet, on my Facebook, whether you wrap up a part of your body and lose a few inches. Okay, I get it. You want to look nice. But it's bigger things your ass need to be concerned with losing. Like that no good ass nigga you got. Yeah, the same one that try to look surprised every first of the month. Like he didn't know them damn bills was coming. How in the fuck do bills catch you at a bad time every motherfucking month? And y'all fall for it every time. That's okay, bae. I'll hold us down for this month. Bitch, you been holding that nigga up for damn near seven months. 
seven months before that, his ass was locked up. And you were sending the money then. Bet you 14 months in the hole. And you worry about losing weight. You need to lose that damn dead weight nigga your ass dragging around. You got a damn 200 pound sis on your back. That's what you need to do. Go online wherever you go and order your four or five of them kitsch wraps or what the fuck ever and wrap that motherfucker up. Wrap his ass up. Lose that motherfucker. And then see how good your ass look and feel after you do that. This the tip. Your women too concerned with keeping it real with your man and ain't keeping it real with yourself. Too concerned with respecting your man but not respecting yourself. Respect your pussy, bitch. Respect your pussy or kill yourself, ho. This is Herbert W. Johnson saying goodnight. Shit.